Hi everybody, thanks uh, for joining me for another week of uh, reflections on God's Word. We're looking together at the moment at Philippians, Philippians chapter 1. On uh, Friday, I started a, a kind of new paragraph or a new section of Philippians chapter 1 in verse 15. And what I want to go on to today in verse 17 kind of um, uh, refers back to that. So let me start reading from verse 15. It is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rivalry, but others out of goodwill. The latter do so out of love, knowing that I am put there for the defence of the gospel. That's what we looked at on Friday. The former, however, verse 17, preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, supposing that they can stir up trouble for me while I am in chains. There's this bizarre kind of dichotomy, I think, here, where people are preaching Christ, but they're doing so with a desire to um, cause trouble for Paul. So I'm not sure as I reflect on it, and I've done no study on this uh, recently at all. I've not looked into it. I'm not sure, though, whether um, it's a genuine gospel that they're, they're trying to preach or whether they're trying to suggest that Paul is preaching an erroneous gospel. Uh, and therefore that they want to bring uh, an alternative tweaked uh, teaching into prominence. Whatever it is, though, their desire is to cause trouble for Paul. And uh, Paul, as we know, um, underwent a, a, a radical um, uh, transformation when he, as uh, Saul, encountered Jesus on the road to Damascus. Somebody who had at one point uh, been persecuting Christians, uh, taking part in the murder of Christians, uh, was, was literally turned around. His eyes were blinded by the revelation of the glory of Jesus. And out of that came a renewed character with a renewed name, that of Paul. Now, many people were suspicious of him because of that. They, they weren't sure that he was fully transformed, fully changed. Uh, and so some wanted to stir up trouble. Uh, others, on the other hand, who uh, perhaps had worked alongside Paul as a, as a faithful, solid Jew, uh, were now disturbed by what had happened. And so they, too, were trying to stir up trouble for Paul. But I doubt that they would have been trying to preach Christ. Whatever it is, we have here, I think, a reminder that we are to preach Christ. Uh, at whatever our motive, we're to go on preaching Christ. And if we're, if we're faithful to that task, whatever our ambition, whatever our desire in doing so, so long as we're faithful to the task of preaching Christ, then some good can come out of that. We'll come on to that a bit tomorrow. Uh, but whether it's out of love for Paul or out of selfish ambition, what's interesting to me here is that it is still Christ that's being preached. And so again, if we're preaching Christ faithfully, biblically, uh, appropriately, then some good can come out of that. Let's pray for those who preach Christ, wh whoever it is, wherever we are, whatever our ambitions and our desires are. Let's pray that those who preach Christ do so faithfully and biblically. And let's pray that we live, uh, we hear those words, we hear that teaching, and we live by it. But most important of all, let's pray and let's do that now. Lord God, thank you for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Help us to teach well, help us to hear well, help us to put into practice well that truth, the truth of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Um, thanks for joining me. As I say, I'll, uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow. Take care.